yesterday, which means this World Championship race, gloves are going to be off, and it is going to be an all-out slugfest. Brent Smith, take us through the starting grid for Pro Buggy. Well, we've seen who was fast yesterday. Trey D. Gibbs in that 15, then Kevin McCullough in that 62, and 33. Elliot Walton, also a fast race car driver in today's race. The 94 of Michael Meister having some bad luck yesterday coming through the field in that Ponzi back ride. Then it's Brock Dickerson, Chris Vanenels, and Michael Hester, Raymond Bowers, Adam Grender, Dave Vanenels, and Christopher Coughlin in the 13. Just some of the super buggy drivers, and we're going green, guys. All right, we're green flag racing here. Pro buggy coming into Forest County Pottawatomie, turn number one. Who's going to have the whole shot? Looks like Hester and Steiny are on the outside getting a decent start. Hester going to pull a whole shot coming into the barn turn. Yeah, Hester going to walk away with it. Kevin McCullough in the number 62 oh. right in the mix as well. Couple cars tangled together in the barn turn. Now Hester, he finds himself in second now. Yeah, Kevin McCullough there in the number 62 going down into the Polaris Razor gravel pit. Boy, McCullough, he's not wasting any time. He's very, very quick. And he, I thought Hester was going to pull through. Maybe something happened going through the barn turn and got a little squirrely almost into the K-wall. Yeah, McCullough found a little something-something today. I don't want to jinx it here, but this is one of the few races where we've had a clean start right off the bat. Yeah, look at the usual suspects that are down there right outside of the podium. I mean, we got Elliot Watson. We got Michael Meister in the mix there. Yeah, Michael Meister, he's, he's a very good race car driver he understands he's been trying to move up classes the last past two seasons so he, he loves his super buggy division yeah that number 15 that pit viper uh sunglasses ride that is trey d gibbs we saw him victorious on friday night here look at that mccullough i'm very impressed with the driving he's putting out there look at is that watson diving to the inside there yeah elliot watson getting around mike hester that is for second, heading back towards Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. It's still Kevin McCall in the lead. So coming down, it is McCullough, Watson, Hester, one, two, three. Looks like we got Trady Gibbs and Meister in the mix as well. Boy, Watson, he landed on those two outside rear tires. And I mean, I tell you, that is scary. We seen Doug Matag do that yesterday. You can see the drive shaft on that thing. We got proof that the track is drying out too. You start to see those dust clouds form. Well, yeah. You're a buggy guy, Ryan. I mean, I know obviously in the desert, but a lot of it, the techniques are the same as here in short course, but it is largely, these things are fast, but it's largely a momentum based class with these type buggies, right? I mean, you go into a corner like this, you don't hit your marks, it can cost you for a few turns after, right? Well, yeah, that, that and the use of the cutting brake. I don't know, not all the guys use cutting brakes, but some of them do, and you grab that thing a little too hard and you rotate all the way around as well. So there's a finesse that you've got to use to rotate there, these cars. Is there like a valve there, like uh, how much pressure you put on oh, yeah. it obviously it's just like your regular brake pedal and a guy comes in gets excited he could spin himself out you know the interesting thing that's changed here it's been in the last 20 years but the a-arm front style suspension has not always been what buggies had they used to use a volkswagen style yep, trailer yeah, i remember suspension. that and the cornering was a lot different then. These cars corner much better than they did 20 years ago yeah the stance on these cars are so wide they can take a lot so Meister now putting a little pressure on Hester. It's funny because it seems like the theme of the weekend has been Hester versus Meister, the battle of the two Michaels. Yeah, they've been very, very fast all season long. Michael Meister trying to run that inside line. They're heading towards the gravel pit. There's a good look at Schwabi. Steinhardt coming through the field as well. He was a victim of just uh, being in the wrong place at the wrong time earlier on this weekend. And, uh, you know, he got a whole shot, got it taken away. But he is always one to watch out for he is uh, Steinhardt, one of the veterans and legends of this division. And, uh, you know, he is definitely one to never count out. Yeah, Steinhardt, he was in the single buggy division for multiple years. He, he went and won probably six, seven championships. And he, he was a little older when he got in the super buggy, but it was just about the finances, get the right amount of money. And he wanted to go out and be fast right away. So Meister taking a look at the bottom there and trying to get around Hester. Doesn't look like there is enough. These guys have had battles the past two years. 
Boy, Kevin McCall, I just love the way his driving style is shaping up to be here at Crandon. He's letting the car go where it wants to go. The flow is so nice with Kevin as he's coming back towards Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. Looks like we got a little contact back there. Yeah, it looks like Brock Dickerson, maybe. It's a battle for seventh and eighth right now. Like we said, gloves are off here. No points on the line. Everybody wants that podium spot. Well, sending it there. Wow. Brock right. Dickerson just flying off that board. I just love how they're rotating in the air. I got to spend a little time with him at the end of the year last year. That, that kid is fast, and he's got a smart head on his shoulders. It looks like Meister finally getting around Hester. Hester, it looks like he's having some problems there. Yeah, he's swapping back and forth. Maybe something's going on in that car. He's really off the pace. Yeah, something must have broke, broken that car. He's having a big problem here. He's almost coming to a crawl. Yeah, he's, he's going to pull off as a mandatory competition caution comes out. I don't know. Um, there was something going on with that car right there before the caution. Yeah, you wonder. He, he, we can't tell from up here, but it could be something in the engine compartment. Oh, we got one. That is the number eight. That is Adam, Adam Bruner. Bruner. Yeah, man, that's sheared the whole left front right off that machine. So this uh, restart here, the like mandatory caution restart, is going to give uh, Elliot Watson what do you think is going through his mind right now, Jim? Well, Watson, we, he knows how to win in a buggy. And, uh, you know, I, I got to tell you, though, oh, and that, uh, was the, no. that was the culprit there. Oh, Hester did have a left rear flat going on. But uh, I got to tell you, McCullough, he is, he has been hitting his marks. He hadn't made any mistakes so far in this race. And it's going to be tough to get around a guy like that. You know, when you're Watson, you're sitting back there, and a lot of these cars are very equal in speed. Uh, you know, he, he's going to be looking for a mistake to capitalize on it. The problem is, is McCullough just isn't making any mistakes right now. Yeah, he's going to have to be pretty nitpicky when you talk about mistakes. Yeah, and as we said, you know, no points on the line. There might be a point in this race where there might be a crack of an opening, and you're going to have to see Watson just send it, throw it in, and, uh, you know, hope for the best. I don't think he's afraid. No, and that's one thing. I've watched Elliot Watson run the past couple of years. That kid is definitely not afraid of anything. And, uh, you know, if he sees an opportunity, he's got no problem sending it into the corner and trying to make that pass. And, you know, there's a world championship on the line. Sometimes you got to throw a Hail Mary out there. So we're looking at this list. So right now, you're running order as they sit. It is Kevin McCullough, Elliot Watson, Trey D. Gibbs, Michael Meister, Hester, who had a flat. He is not going to be in the fifth spot when we come back racing. Steinhardt, Dickerson, Brister, Briska, Mike Kirkham. They're in the 10th spot. And I mean, I'm looking now, we got 21 super buggies. This is an amazing field of entries. I know we got some drivers from the West Coast mixing in here with our Midwest drivers. And what a solid, solid field here. For, uh, for buggy fans. I know there's a lot of open wheel fans that absolutely love watching these buggies run, and this is the premier division of open wheel here in short course, and just great to see 21 strong here at Crandon. But it's about to get as good, good as it gets with three to go, no points. I think, like you said, they're going to throw caution on the win, and we might see some pretty dicey stuff happening here. Oh, yeah, it's no holes bar right now. This is for the championship ring. They're all out. It's McCullough, Watson, Gibbs, Meister, and Hester. Actually, Hester went in. You did say that right. Michael Hester yeah, went in for Steinhardt, a change. Though. So Steinhardt, that brings him up one. So watch. This is going to be a battle. Yeah, top five. All five of them know how to win. We are green flag racing. Whoa, look at that. Look he it. was slow on the start there. McCullough. Watson might Watson be able to get around him. Watson advantage of that one for sure. McCullough got caught sleeping. Wow, we'll maybe. see if Watson can get underneath him. He does. Maybe he was in the wrong gear or something. I don't know. That was interesting. He, he started. He just didn't have, didn't have anything. Oh, and he's got a flat. Looked like a right front flat on McCullough there. A front flat is really odd, but it is. It's uh, a right. Yeah, you're right. Apart. Yeah, that's why he had an issue restarting that race already. Oh, that's the Ponzi ride. That is Michael Meister now in the third spot. He should be able to get around McCullough here pretty shortly. Wow, hey, look at he's having a hard time turning that car. He's gonna he's gonna keep it going as much as he can, and you know to. To his credit, he's doing a heck of a fine job. And, you know, oh, there's going to be mayhem there. Oh, contact again. Wow, he is doing a fine job trying to hang on for a podium. 
I've got to tell you, as a driver, even if it's not affecting the way the car is handling, which it does, it's got to be really distracting seeing that thing flopping <laughs> up there in the right front. You know, but he knows if he pulls in, which it looks like uh, he yeah. is, his chances at a world championship are over unless a caution comes out. Uh, it's a tough break for him. He was having a strong run, but uh, it was just too many laps left to try and hold on. Now we go back up towards the front. Elliot Watson leading. We're getting a glimpse there. Trady Gibbs with number 15. Meister now in the second spot. Gibbs in the third spot. Michael Meister, he didn't really have a good start in the beginning of this race, but he always picks his way through, Jim. We watch him countless years now. He knows how to drive these cars. He knows how to use that handbrake. He knows how to carry as much momentum as he can in that Ponzi ride. It's one of the best in short course. Well, yeah, it's, it's six laps may not seem like a lot of laps, but it's plenty of time to plan a strategy, watch what's going on in front of you. So I don't think you can count them out. Well, we got some white smoke coming uh, into our screen as well from one of these rides. So maybe somebody's starting to have some issues. There, Michael Meister now trying to hunt down Elliot Watson. Meister, one of the best from the Midwest. Watson, one of the best at West Coast racers. They are meeting head to head here at Cranon. It is Midwest, it is West Coast. They are neck and neck here with only a couple laps remaining for Pro Buggy and the World Championship. Michael Meister trying a couple different lines the last lap and a half, trying to chase down Elliot Watson as they head back once again towards Forest County Pottawatomie, turn number one. Trady Gibbs now in the top three. There's McCullough. Remember, he went in with that flat tire. He's oh. back out. He's well in the back of the pack. Yeah, like a gentleman. Did you see him move up high there? He knew he had the race leaders coming around, and he got out of the way. There's a man with a bit of experience for you. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to ruin anybody else's day. You know you had bad luck, and why would you want to go having some conflict with somebody else when you're not even in the running anymore? Yeah, he's just going for a finish at this point, but one guy that's not going for a finish is Meister. He tucks in. Meister side by oh, side. Oh, a little contact, but uh, Meister checking out, backing out of it, not trying to put the hammer down. Caution yellow flag, flag. going to come out. Once again, yellow flags are out. So that gives McCullough a chance to come around and, and get caught back up with the rest of the field. Probably not going to be able to make it all the way through, but at least he'll be on the lead lap. Wow, so Elliot Watson, he's going to have his hands full with Michael Meister here. When we go back to racing, this is uh, looks like we're going to have about one lap to go. It's going to allow Trady Gibbs a shot at this thing as well, the number 15 car. He's run really strong this uh, year, both on the West Coast and in the Midwest. So we're going to get them all bunched up and grouped up and try and go back racing here with about one lap left in Pro Buggy. It is Watson, Meister, Gibbs, Briska, Dickerson, Brister, Steinhardt, Kirkham, Schwalbe, and Coughlin. I got to tell you, on this holiday weekend, it's kind of cool to see that red, white, and blue pace truck out there with Old Glory flying in the wind. Nice to be here in Crandon on a holiday weekend. Absolutely. No place I'd rather be on Labor Day weekend than right here at the Big House celebrating the 50th. And especially today, Sunday, this is the one everybody waits all year long for, the Red Bull Crandon World Cup. That's still to come later today. Right now, though, we are in the middle of Pro Buggy in the Steal It World Championship. Immediately coming up after this race, though, we're going to have the Ultra 4 World Championship. Looking forward to seeing that. Those guys were running on the Ultra Cross course last night, putting on one great show under the lights. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, who can come out here on top on the short course. I know we'll have Dave Cole from Ultra 4 in the booth with us for that one. I think we're going to send Ryan Thomas back down into the pits to get some more tech stories and find out what's really going on uh, behind the scenes. But right now, it is all about the Steel of Pro Buggy World Championship and Elliot Watson, our lead. He's trying to hold off a hard-charging Michael Meister and a Trey D. Gibbs there in the third spot. Pace truck is off. We're getting ready to go back racing here. Looking at Elliot Watson. He's going to be watching that flag, man. When that green flag flies, we're going to have about one to go here in Pro Buggy. Green 
flag out. Watson getting a good jump that time over Meister. And he chooses the high line right off the start there. That was an interesting move by Watson. Watson going way high, carrying a lot of momentum through that corner, up and over that Polaris Razor legendary leap, and now Trady Gibbs starting to put a lot of pressure on Meister. Yeah, Trady Gibbs, he's starting to move up towards Elliot Watson. This is gonna get really interesting. One lap to go, Watson's well oh, out front on contact again. Two cars going around. Look at that. Yeah, 360. Trady Gibbs on the gas again, full 360. And we stay green, how about that? Freestyle pro buggy, I thought that was safe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was safe for uh, Red Bull X Fighters, but uh, <laughs> Just stand today. in it. <laughs> I think he gets some extra points for that. Yeah. You can do a 360 and finish on the podium. I'm, I'm gonna give him some extra credit, but right now, Elliot Watson out front. Yeah, Michael Meister, I don't know if there's enough time, but if there's anyone that can reel in Elliot Watson, it is that Ponzi back ride, the 94 of Michael Meister coming back one more time in Forest County, Pottawatomi, turn number one. Wow, getting really close to that K-rail. He was really hugging the inside there, and man, coming down really hard on that right front. Meister on the hunt. Meister gonna try and set something up here in the gravel pit with two corners to go. Be watching this gravel pit corner. Meister's gonna make a move, it will be now. Gravel pit upon us. Meister, Boy, Meister didn't even get on the biters, he just hucked it in there. He's gonna carry a lot of momentum out of this corner. He's gonna try and chase down Elliot Watson with one corner to go, up and over the legendary leap. It is he's got to run Meister. the bottom. If he wants it, he's got to make contact. World They're wheel to wheel. Championship on the line, Meister. Dropping Ooh. the hammer. Who's it going to be all the way to the wire? What's wow. going to hang on for the win? That was some clean racing by those two guys. Touching each other. I always not, say, yeah. I always say if you hit wheel to wheel, it's game on. You got to give a lot of credit to Meister. Though. Like we said, no points on the line. This is all for nothing. We said, you know, you might have to throw a Hail Mary at one point. He did. Didn't work out in his favor. Had to settle for second. But, uh, you know, you got to try. You got to give a guy a lot of credit to try. I'm pretty sure that Watson could feel the guy breathing oh, down yeah. his neck. It wasn't that he didn't know he was there. We'll take another look at this finish. Watch as Michael Meister's going to try to sneak on the inside. Look at that. Looked like Watson checked up trying to protect, and Meister was just backing it in. And... It's kind of scary when open wheel cars touch like that, but it looked like Meister knew they were going to get tangled, and he checked up a bit and uh, settled for second. But uh, He was right there, though. Come on, guys. As race car drivers, you would have done the same I, that thing. Was, yeah, I, I, both of those guys were doing exactly what they should do. And, you know, I'm thinking about this. How many of those side-by-side -side finishes have we seen at Crandon? Man, this track is shaping up to be really racy this weekend as we just saw an amazing Steel It Pro Buggy World Championship. We're going to catch up with our top three here when we come back from break. And then immediately following that, it is going to be the Crandon Ultra 4 World Championship right here at the Big House when we return to the 2019 Red Bull Crandon World Cup. And he's done it here. Elliot Watson taking the top spot here at the 50th anniversary of Crandon in the Super Buggy. Elliot, I mean, you and Michael Meister just ran an amazing race. Very clean. You were very little contact when need be, but you guys ran a great race. Walk us through that, especially because you got a guy like Michael Meister right on your tail. Yeah, exactly. Off the start, uh, we started in a really good spot. Started third, but got off the line. I missed the shift, so missed out on the whole shot. Filed in behind Kevin at the halfway point. Kevin out of flat and got around him quick. And I knew Meister is fast. He runs here all the time. And he's a great guy. He's been working a lot together. And he's a Lumen Craft race car. So he won the championship yesterday, third time in a row. Congrats to him. He's a super hard guy to beat back here, but gonna be happier for us to be finishing one and two. Well, you've done it here. I know 50th has mean a lot to everybody, but being here specifically, taking that, getting this gold medal right here, and I always like to ask everybody in one word, how are you feeling? Ah, pumped. Pumped, awesome. Well, I know you got to thank a lot of people for bringing you here and putting on that first place box. Yeah, exactly. My whole family, we put in so much time to get back here, and a lot of work goes into getting these cars on top and consistently running up front. So huge thank you to those guys. Steve Downing giving us an awesome setup on the car. Roy, Colby, Trey, and working so hard getting two cars ready for this weekend. Beef Goat Tires always hooking up. They're a great product and great support support for us. And here at Cranon, they work awesome. Fox Shocks, Method Race Wheels, Illumicraft Race Cars, all the fans, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. It feels good.
Look at him go. He's taking that top spot here in Super Buggy. Heading over to our second place finisher, Michael Meister. Michael, first off, a big congratulations. Three years in a row, the 2019 Super Buggy World Champ, and you've Series Champ, and you've done it all. And I love talking to you because, honestly, you're the nicest kid. But as soon as you get behind that wheel, I am, like, deathly afraid to even race against you. You ran a clean race. Walk us through it. All right, thank you, Tiffany. Uh, Oh, yes, uh, today was a crazy race. Uh, we didn't get the greatest start. There was kind of like a mud puddle uh, in front of where I started, but that didn't uh, change my mind about anything. Uh, but we picked a grooved tire, uh, so it's better in the long run, and that paid out in the, uh, the end here. I was able to make different lines and all that stuff, but oh, it's great to do a three-peat on the Super Buggy Championship in the Midwest here. Uh, Oh, I had I would have not thought of anything else uh, when I started four years ago, but uh, it's really cool. I put a lot of work in, and so did all my sponsors and teams, and everybody that's helped me out. But uh, this is really cool being in the podium for the 50th anniversary in Cranon here, and I gotta thank my dad, Caitlin, my girlfriend, Brad. He kept me calm during the races here, and uh, it's just a blast. And Ponce North America, Michael Meister logging, armor coat, never lift apparel. Southside Tire Vanigo, VP Fuel, and Remington Oil, Hobby Town, Revolution Raceway, and everybody else. The Aluminum Craft cars are great, hooked up on BFG tires. And I gotta thank our contingency sponsor, Rada and Supply, for the great support the last few years. Well, you've done it here, and I must say, you should be very proud of yourself for only racing four years and taking three series champ. Nice job, Michael Meister. Heading over to our third place finisher, Matt Brister. Matt! So good to talk to you down here. That smile says everything. Being here for the 50th anniversary, taking the third place podium spot, especially behind guys like Elliot Watson and Michael Meister. How does that make you feel? Yeah, you know, uh, this is our first time here. We couldn't miss the 50th, and I think we're going to be here every year after. Uh, racing against these guys who have had laps on the track was definitely tough. I feel like we had to play a safe race to get through a bunch of the pack. And then uh, we just ran out of time to start fighting with these guys. But uh, honestly, this was the most fun track I've ever raced on. And the car was so fast, it was hooking up. I got to thank Rancho Transmissions for really dialing it in and getting me a little more speed. Roush Performance Racing Engines for giving me a bullet. Funko Motorsports, uh, there are three Funkos racing today. And I'm sad that the other two couldn't make it, but I'm glad to represent up here. Uh, BF Goodrich Tires, we ran on used tires yesterday and we're one of the fastest cars. Uh, so we put some freshies on today and it was, uh, it was a bullet. So, And everybody for coming out, thank you. Well, he's done it here, nice job. Make your guys way up to the podium. A big celebration for the top three finishers in Super Buggy and back up to you guys.